How did the original idea come about? Well, so many different ideas all came together. Um, we see lots of pictures of breasts in the media, and I didn't feel as I grew up that I measured up to those pictures. And I didn't really recognise myself in images of women and images of breasts in the media. There's this dichotomy between how breasts and women's bodies are presented for public consumption, and then there's how we look and how we feel personally. And I wanted to explore that dichotomy and share the reality, tell the truth. How easy or not was it to persuade women to take part? Quite difficult, because it's a big thing to bear your breasts in our culture. Most women I asked did say no, but once women had taken part, they were brilliant about evangelising and helping me find other women. I've got the book in front of me, and of course it all has the pictures that you've taken, but what is more striking really is the words that go with it and the way that women relate to their, their own bodies and how they see themselves and whether they care or not, perhaps the older they get, actually. Do you know, there is, there is that contrast between the younger, younger women and the older women. And I guess by the time you've lived a long, full life, uh, the women were more pragmatic about their bodies. Old, I saw one old, old, older woman said, I don't really think about them very much, to be honest. No, that's true. <laughs> that's true. There is a difference between the younger and the older women. Yeah. And what's quite striking in the book, uh, there is, is one woman who has had a mastectomy. I know she doesn't feature in the, the campaign that uh, you're involved with Senator McCartney with, but she has a mastectomy scar that she decides to have a tattoo put over, to really own it rather than have it own her, I suppose. I think that's a brilliant way of putting it. Um, she, she, she found the scar was a, a reminder of pain and loss and sadness. And she hadn't had a reconstruction because when she was diagnosed with breast cancer, her husband was dying of a brain tumour. So the tattoo is a way of her claiming that space, owning that part of her body and making it pretty. And just to finish off, talking about being involved with such a, a big and well-known fashion house, she must have had a few sort of reservations about, well, you know, we hear about fashion, you know, people wanting to airbrush everything out of sight, not Stella McCartney necessarily, but you must have had some reservations along those lines. Yeah, when, um, when Stella McCartney invited me to collaborate on this, um, on this project, No Lesser Woman for Breast Cancer, I was intrigued, very excited, but I was quite sure that we shouldn't airbrush the women because... The whole point is to tell the truth, to share these realities and to do as much as we can to dismantle fear of the unknown. And it's, it's definitely a really bold move for a fashion house and uh, lots of credit to Stella McCartney for doing it.